The labyrinth of dreams and ever-changing kaleidoscope holds firm the key to our subconscious minds. It truly captivates the human spirit and spurs a relentless quest for understanding. But what is behind this intricate world of dreams? The answer lies in the fascinating science of dreaming. This discipline delves into complex neural networks, physiological changes and psychological processes that occur as we dream. From REM sleep stages to intricate brain waves, the science behind why we dream is a territory as uncharted as the dreams themselves. Why do we dream? What purpose do our dreams serve? The answers are as intriguing as the dreams themselves. The captivating world of dreams continues to bewitch scientists, psychologists and dream enthusiasts alike. From the common dream themes that pervade our slumber to the riveting exploration of the science behind why we dream. Ever wondered what the most common dream is? Dreams are an intriguing part of our human existence, an enigma that has been the subject of many studies and research projects. Scientists and psychologists alike have been fascinated by this nocturnal activity of our brain, trying to delve into the mysteries and understand the patterns that arise in the world of dreams. In one such study, a comprehensive survey was conducted that involved over 5,000 participants from diverse demographics and backgrounds. The respondents were asked to share their most recurring dreams, and the results were startling. The dream that topped the charts was not one that involved flying, falling, or even being chased, which are usually considered quite common. Instead, it was a scenario that in reality many people deeply fear and dread. The top contender, surprisingly, was the unsettling scenario of a spouse having an affair. This dream, it seems, is a common thread that connects many dreamers around the world, transcending geographical and cultural boundaries. This revelation throws light on the deep-seated insecurities and fears that we as humans often harbor within us. These results also provide a startling glimpse into the human psyche, revealing the complexities of our subconscious mind. It's fascinating to think how our dreams, while seemingly random and disconnected, can actually be a mirror reflecting our deepest fears and anxieties. Dreams, as it turns out, often take us to places we'd rather not visit in real life. In most dreams, you remain blissfully unaware that you are indeed in a dream, no matter how bizarre or eccentric the events unfolding may appear. Dreams are a tantalizing mystery of the human mind playing out in our heads while we slumber, often leaving us awestruck and baffled. One of the most intriguing aspects of dreams is that we usually accept the most outlandish and improbable circumstances as reality without a second thought. This unquestioning acceptance of the surreal is largely due to the activity of our brains during the dreaming stage. Dreaming primarily occurs during the rapid eye movement phase of sleep, a stage characterized by heightened brain activity. During this phase, different parts of our brain are more active, while others slow down their functions. Interestingly, the prefrontal cortex, a part of the brain responsible for logic and reasoning, tends to be less active during dreaming. This area of the brain is what enables us to rationalize, to assess situations, and to make decisions based on logic and reason during our waking hours. However, during dreams, this logic center takes a back seat, becoming less dominant than during wakefulness. This phenomenon allows us to participate in the dream without questioning the illogical nature of the events occurring. We may find ourselves flying through the sky, conversing with animals, or living in a world where the laws of physics don't apply, and we just go along with it. This is the fascinating enigma of dreams a realm where imagination runs wild and reality is put on hold. The prefrontal cortex, responsible for logic, takes a back seat during dreaming, allowing us to interact without questioning the illogical nature of the dream. But wait, just because you're typically unaware doesn't mean you can't take control. We've all experienced it, that feeling of helpless drifting as our subconscious takes us on a journey of its own creation. A journey where we are merely passengers, observing the unfolding of bizarre and often inexplicable scenes. We laugh, we cry, and sometimes we tremble in fear, all the while enveloped in the mystery of dreams, those nightly adventures that weave tales of wonder and sometimes dread. Yet, what if we told you that you don't have to be just a passenger? What if you could take the wheel, guiding these nocturnal narratives, shaping them into whatever you want? This is where lucid dreaming comes in. It's not some mystical or esoteric concept, 
but a scientifically acknowledged phenomenon that happens when you become conscious within a dream. Imagine the possibilities, the power to not only observe, but also participate and influence the course of your dream ventures. You unencumbered through azure skies, swim with majestic creatures in the deep ocean, walk on the moon or even conjure up a long lost love. All this while being fully aware that you're in a dream. It's like being the director and the star of your very own blockbuster movie. How is this possible, you may ask? Lucid dreaming. The ability to realize within a dream that you are, in fact, dreaming. This opens the door to manipulating and steering the dream in any direction you desire. Most dreams rely heavily on our sense of sight, but have you ever wondered about individuals who have been blind since birth? It's an intriguing thought, isn't it? To imagine the dreams of those who have never seen the world as we do? Well, it might surprise you, but they do dream. This fascinating fact opens up a whole new avenue of understanding about the human mind and the way it processes experiences. While these individuals may lack visual images in their dreams, they are certainly not devoid of rich sensory experiences. Their dreams, instead of being visually dominated, engage other senses, bringing forth a symphony of different sensory experiences. The sound often plays a pivotal role adding layers of depth in their dream narratives. They hear conversations, the rustling of leaves, the crashing of waves, the pitter-patter of rain, the sounds that surround them in their waking lives. Just as in a beautifully composed symphony, the dreams of blind people harmonize the elements of sound, touch, taste, and smell. This sensory richness compensates for the absence of sight, creating a dream world that is unique, palpable, and incredibly immersive. Interestingly, research has found that blind individuals experience more nightmares compared to sighted people. This is a curious phenomenon that awaiting a clear explanation. Scientists and researchers are delving into this mystery, seeking to shed light on this seemingly paradoxical occurrence. It's a fascinating subject that continues to captivate and intrigue both the scientific community and the general public. Most dreams rely heavily on our sense of sight. But what about individuals who have been blind since birth? Turns out they dream too. While lacking visual images, their dreams engage other senses, with sound often taking the lead. Interestingly, blind individuals experience more nightmares, a phenomenon still awaiting a clear explanation. Humans aren't the only dreamers in the animal kingdom. We often assume that dreaming is an exclusive trait of ours, but that's not the truth. Plenty of creatures in the wild, the oceans, and even in our homes experience dreams. The range of their dreaming is much more diverse than ours. Take us, for example. Humans are pretty average dreamers. We spend a decent amount of our sleep engaged in dreams, but there are many animals that surpass us. Dolphins, known for their intelligence, surprisingly experience minimal dream time. They are the minimalists of the dream world. Then there are the opossums and armadillos, these creatures are the polar opposite of dolphins when it comes to dreaming. They're among the most prolific dreamers. Their sleep is virtually packed with dreams. Dreams, it seems, transcend species. Did you know that some groundbreaking ideas and inventions emerged from dreams? Yes, that's right. We're not talking about mere daydreams, but those intricate, complex dreams we dive into during our deepest sleep. The subconscious mind is an absolute wonder. It's during sleep, when our conscious mind is at rest, that the subconscious takes the stage and orchestrates everything. It delves into the core of our thoughts, hopes and experiences, weaving them into a narrative that can often be cryptic, but sometimes this intricate dance results in a spark of brilliance. Historically, there's a whole list of discoveries and inventions that have their roots in dreams. The most common example is the sewing machine. Elias Howe, its inventor, had been struggling with the machine's design until he dreamed of being chased by warriors holding spears with holes near the tip. This dream inspired the crucial design of the needle near the point, a feature that is still used in modern sewing machines. Another startling example is Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, which reportedly sprang from a dream where he was sledding down a steep mountainside and noticed that the star's appearance altered as he approached the speed of light. It was this dream that led him to his groundbreaking work on relativity. It's like a creative brainstorming session while catching some Zs. As we enter the realm of REM sleep, where the majority of our dreams are woven, our bodies undergo a fascinating process of near-complete paralysis. This paralysis keeps us safe by preventing us from physically acting out our dreams. 
A necessary safeguard as the activities in our dreams often involve vigorous, potentially harmful movements. However, if we were to be suddenly awakened during this stage of sleep, the effects could be disconcerting. This interruption can trigger sleep paralysis, a frightening phenomenon that can cause intense fear and hallucinations. This state often leaves the person feeling helpless and terrified. In certain instances, the mechanism that initiates REM sleep doesn't work as it should, leading to sleepwalking. This condition sees people engaged in a wide array of activities, from performing dangerous stunts and wandering aimlessly to undertaking creative tasks, all while being blissfully unconscious of their actions. These individuals act out their dreams, transforming them into a strange reality. Sleepwalking is like a real-life manifestation of dreams. Now let's get scientific dreams. The mysterious phenomena that take place while we slumber are propelled by a fascinating chemical named dimethyltryptamine, often referred to by its abbreviation DMT. This compelling substance, colloquially dubbed the dream drug, is a curious element to delve into. Born within our own bodies, DMT is produced naturally in our brains during the twilight hours of sleep, acting as a biochemical conduit to the world of dreams. Its role is rather captivating, binding to the receptors in our brain that are responsible perception of reality, and in turn, allowing us to navigate the surreal landscapes of our dreams. Furthermore, this potent compound can be artificially synthesized in a laboratory environment. The synthetic variant gives rise to intense hallucinogenic experiences. Users report vivid, almost cinematic experiences that are often described as transcendent, leading to a complete and temporary disconnect from the tangible world around us. It's a journey the mind, a dense and vivid exploration of the subconscious. Mirroring our waking life, dreams can be a mixture of harmless everyday events and abstract, often surreal scenarios. Dreams can be a reflection of our deepest fears, desires and memories. The DMT produced by our brains during sleep plays a pivotal role in influencing these dream experiences. This dream drug produced naturally during sleep can also be synthesized, leading to intense hallucinogenic experiences and a temporary disconnect from reality. The big question, why do we dream and what purpose do dreams serve? This has been a talk of intense debate and curiosity for centuries. Philosophers, scientists and thinkers alike have pondered over the profound question and yet we are far from reaching a definitive conclusion. However, through the ages, numerous theories and hypotheses have been put forth in an attempt to decode the mystery behind dreams. One such hypothesis is the threat simulation theory. This theory, which is widely discussed among psychologists and neuroscientists, speculates that dreams serve as a form of subconscious training. The idea behind this is that when we dream, our brain creates scenarios that mimic dangerous or threatening events. These simulated experiences, according to the threat simulation theory, act as a form of rehearsal. The fascinating aspect is that these scenarios are created without us being subjected to any real harm or danger. It's like our brain's sophisticated simulation system that prepares us for potential threats without us having to face the actual danger. This way, our dream experiences potentially help us strategize, direct, and respond to real life threats more effectively. Yet as intriguing as it sounds, this is just one theory among many. The actual purpose of dreams may vary, and the answer could be far more multifaceted we currently understand. After all, the human mind is an incredible yet complex organ capable of conjuring up the most most imaginative and perplexing phenomena. But for now, the threat simulation theory offers one of the most compelling explanations for the purpose of dreams. So the big question remains, why do we dream and what purpose do dreams serve? While the answer remains elusive, the threat simulation theory suggests that dreams act as a form of training to simulate dangerous events. It's like our brain's way of preparing us for potential threats without the actual danger. So what sorts of dreams do you see? Dreams, they are the fascinating landscapes of our subconscious mind. They can be whimsical, mysterious, frightening, and occasionally enlightening. In the realm of dreams, one can soar above the clouds or plunge into deep oceans. Dreams are the unconscious expression of our deepest hopes, fears, desires, and experiences. They are the silent storytellers that weave intricate tales during the quiet hours of the night. Dreams to some are just random fleeting images that come and go with the night. To others, they hold profound meaning, a message from the subconscious mind, a sign or a prediction. And then there are those who dream in colors, vivid and vibrant, creating a beautiful mosaic of emotions and thoughts, a kaleidoscope of life's experiences. Dreams can be surreal, where the laws of physics do not apply and time and space become irrelevant. You can find yourself in places you've never been with people you've never met, doing things you've never done. 
Dreams can also be extraordinarily realistic, replaying events from your past with uncanny accuracy or playing out possible future scenarios in striking detail. The world of dreams is infinite, expansive and deeply personal. Each dream is a unique journey, an exploration of the inner self. So if you delve deeper into your dreams, you might find hidden layers of your psyche, uncharted territories of your mind or unexpected insights about your life. Dreams are also a testament to the limitless potential of human imagination. In dreams, we can transcend the ordinary and glimpse into the extraordinary. We can journey to far off galaxies, encounter mythical creatures or even relive historical events. So what sorts of dreams do you see?